morning. Good morning! It's such a sunny day today and we are ready for a cruise. This spot last night was beautiful, so peaceful and quiet, we loved it, but the internet is a bit rubbish and it's still a two hour walk into Leighton Buzzard, so we're just gonna budge up a little bit. We still wanna be on the outskirts of Leighton Buzzard, basically get within walking distance. We're really enjoying spring so far as always. And it's only when you hit this part of the year when you realise quite how exhausting winter always is. It's just like the mud, the short days, the cold, the coal stains, all of that stuff. And then you get into spring and you're cruising and the sun hits your face and you're like, oh, <laughs> everything feels all right again. It's nice. because before we'd see a boat on its own on like where we'd be more and they'd be like oh you're brave but now it's like that's just so normal like we used to look for spots where there weren't any other boats and it's just so weird getting back into the habit of that now because we need diesel, gas, some more kindling, and of course, the Elsa. Right, now we've done all that, got everything sorted, it's time to move on. Right, onto the lock, I'm just delivering Amy past this little fence. <laughs> so she's jumped on and then she can jump off and go and fill the lock. an eventful stop we met one of our lovely subscribers Cheryl and also I was just um, filling the lock and a family came and they were like oh no because I'd opened the paddles and I didn't realize that they'd gone to get a magnet because one of them had dropped their phone in the canal and obviously me opening the paddles would have maybe pulled it through or god knows so I shut them quickly and they were able to find it so that's exciting glad I only opened one <sighs> It was literally here, so they were lucky. We haven't been to this pub yet. It's called the Grove Lock, but it smells amazing. moored in our little spot just outside Leighton Buzzard and we're going to wander into the town. It seems like a really nice mooring, there's a good amount of solar, it seems quite quiet and the internet is not sure actually, it seems a bit up and down. But there is a boat behind us running a generator and we don't mind generators but sometimes people run them like literally from 8am till 8pm and that's a bit much for us. Yeah. So we're going to walk ahead, go into the town, but while we're doing it, scope out any spots. I can already see one. That looks nice, doesn't it? That looks pretty ideal, doesn't it? Should we do it? We're going to move it here. Alright, let's go quick then. Go, go, go! <laughs> Acquired. 
weird. The solar's better, the internet's better, and it's nice and quiet. Resume going into town. <laughs> Do you know anything off the top of your head? It's a bronze replica of the propeller, the famous Vickers Vimy plane that was built very near to this site. Mm. You're full of knowledge. Around the town there's all of these and I want to find the canal one. Yeah, that's an accident waiting to happen though, isn't it? You can't more there, mate. <laughs> Quiet though, there's hardly anyone about. So we're going to like a park. Well, as we can tell, it's got like a real mix of really old buildings and then quite new ones as well. But each building looks kind of completely unique. It's really cool. Wow. A jitty. That's a jitty. A jitty. <laughs> this is vegan rolls. Craft style. Clayton Buzzard was named in the Doomsday Book of 1086 and it had the biggest market in Bedfordshire. Doomsday. Doomsday, oh, not Doomsday. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a secret entrance. Is it like bed knobs and broomsticks? What's that? What's that? We saw in our little app, Happy Cow, which tells us where all the vegan places are, that the cafe and the park had good vegan options, but they didn't do them anymore. <sighs> have to find somewhere else. Come to a little cafe by the canal, and we're just gonna chill for a bit. Oh. That's good. Back home in a lovely, quiet spot. So nice. Sleepy little canal. <sighs> well, we've had some really heavy rainfall. So high now. The fenders are literally just on the grass. That's. There's usually like a good. Half a foot or so, isn't there? So we're just out at midnight checking the ropes and stuff. That was completely flooded. This was all dry. Slightly higher than the path. The ropes look okay. I hope it doesn't go much higher though. I'm supposed to be done with all this nonsense of flooding and everything. It's spring now. Hmm. Look how high up it is. Whee! canal's got some flow on it as well, even though it's just a canal section. Mm. It's fine, Wesley. Yes. You're going to lose some oh. careful. <laughs> I forgot how high it was. Do you want to just loosen them? I think we've got plenty of room in them. I'd rather just loosen them a bit more than I think. Go on then. Basically, if you didn't know, the risk is that obviously you're tied to the ground if the water level goes up so high 
after a certain point being tied to the ground starts becoming a bad thing. And if your ropes get too tight, then it can start like pulling this side of the boat downwards and then you start listing. And then water might get into holes it shouldn't if it gets too bad. It's crazy high. Yeah. It's not crazy though, everything's fine. It's terrifyingly high. <laughs> Stop it. Just loosen them a bit. That is quite a flow. For a canal. Plenty of slack. <laughs> Half a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, we didn't expect that when we nipped Rufus out for his evening wee, did we? Yeah, we always leave our ropes. A little bit loose just in case that happens so it'll be fine it's a canal so i'm pretty sure it's not gonna go crazy touch wood um but yeah i'm gonna head to bed now are you gonna be okay yes if the thumbnail and title of this video is anything about it flooding and our boat nearly sinking i guess i guess we were wrong <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow we are cruising a little bit further through leighton buzzard so we're gonna try and get some sleep and then we'll see how it is tomorrow might be downstream by the time we wake up. <laughs> well, we survived and it was absolutely fine. The water level, we probably saw it at its highest point and it's gone pretty much back to normal now. And the flow has also slowed right down. So we're good, but we're ready to go. We have got a spot in mind that we really, really want. And we keep seeing boats go that way. So we're kind of like, go, go, go. We don't want someone to take it. Rufus has got new bed for cruising look at that oh boy <laughs> wow look at that i mean the point we bought it is because it's wipeable so yeah it's quite summery <laughs> so we're just leaving our spot it's really really nice and it's also sunny it's bank holiday friday We've got a nice weekend planned so hopefully it stays this way at the water point. This is wet through. <laughs> the ceiling is wet through. This is so... Oh, the ceiling is just dripping. And because the hose popped off and I didn't notice straight away. It's fine though. It's clean water. It just looks worse than it is. <sighs> so I've mopped that up and drying out as the stuff as best we can, giving the boat a quick clean at the water point. Now it's time to carry on and find our spot. Well look what Amy's managed to do. It's part of cleaning the boat. The middle bit, no more coal bags, no more coal stains. We might actually finally be able to sit up there for the first time this year, which if you know us, gets us very excited. This is also a really exciting cruise for us and we can't wait to show you something. There's so many more boats out and about now and part of that is because we've spent so much time on the Thames and in London but part of it is just because it's spring now and everyone's coming out, it's nice. This is one of the places where you can moor up to go and shop in a big Tesco and you can stop here for about two hours but it's super convenient. Because you can bring the trolley right out on the towpath, right up to the boat. That wasn't the exciting thing by the way, the exciting <laughs> thing is still further this way. <laughs> Hello my dear.
Rufus is loving his new bed, so much so that he refuses to put any more than two paws on it. Rufus, that's a lovely new little bed. Of course he hates it, because it's more practical for us. Wyvern Shipping Company, which is a hire place, and it's very special to us because... It's where we hired our very first narrowboat before we got Gregory's gear, when we were like, do we want to live on a boat? Don't we want to live on a boat? We hired one of these for a week, and it made us want a boat, and here we are three years later. She's a little 45-footer called Fox Club. We're going to see if we can spot her. Fun fact though, the other YouTube channel bobbing along hired the exact same boat for the exact same reason. How crazy is that? So, Fox Club is a special boat. Oh, there she is, a Fox Club. <laughs> They are a really nice company. We genuinely had such a great experience, so we would recommend them. And they were one of the only ones that we know of where when you hire a boat, they actually take you out on it and down a lock and like really teach you. So if that's something that's important to you, definitely recommend them. You can see everyone stocking up on the boats, getting Going all their, their bags and their food in. So it was almost exactly three and a half years ago that when we cruised our little hire boat here, we were like, you know what? One day we'll come past this on our own boat. And here we are! It feels so special! Oh, amazing! Oh, give me a hug. I'm all emotional. <laughs> we did it, buddy. We've got a super exciting video coming up where we go out on Fox Club for the day. So make sure you subscribe to see that. A special little movement. So the lock we're about to go through as well is technically our first ever lock that we ever did and now we can do it easy. <laughs> Don't say that, <laughs> might, something might go wrong. <laughs> first and last lock. <laughs> We've had so much rain that this side pound, water's coming from the canal out of here and filling this side pound. And then I guess the runover goes into the river on the other side. So we've got a good setup for flooding here. because there was I could do another boat and they wanted to do it because they had um, grandchildren visiting so we still went through it yeah. and that was exciting <laughs> the one lock we actually wanted to do on our own <laughs> so now we're just looking for a mooring we've got the perfect mooring hey, we Touch wood. Seats, it? <laughs> opposite the open bit there's armco fingers crossed there's nothing crazy under the water or something Absolutely perfect spot. We wanted to be here because there's a gap in the trees, there's solar, the towpath's not flooded, we're close to like a little floating market and a pub. Look at it, yay! Right, we are moored. Charging the batteries a little bit. We've got a little bit of a buzz, so we're going to ride the wave of momentum and tidy. Done. Relatively tidy. It doesn't look that tidy though because we've got a few bits drying from the water catastrophe earlier. So, but it is tidy, we've just, there's just a few wet things. Yeah, pretty good. Sun's out, spot is still excellent. Pretty happy. 
Thank you for joining us for this episode. We hope you enjoyed. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon and for the bags of chips from... Charlie Cooper. Teresa. And Alison. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out our socials and we will see you next time. Bye.